yes, good evening. It was a really pleasant day at Wild Lab School, the most prestigious school for animals in the country. It was here that young, ambitious, and very smart animals who study hoping that one day they would become famous scientists, doctors, lawyers, musicians, so on and so forth. More importantly for us, this is a school of the main characters of our story tonight. Toby, a young playboy, Tubby, and his two best friends, Clover, a very assertive frog, and Noah, a rather timid lad. Toby's friends meant everything to him. He loved to play with them all day long. He would give his life for them. On the particular day of our story, they were having an anthropology class with most prodigy. Everybody sat there quietly listening to the teacher because they were keen to learn about man. What was so special about him? How was he different from other animals? And God, what made him so powerful over the lives of everyone on the planet? Of course, young students find the task of sitting still for the whole of period a fairly challenging task. 20 minutes into the lecture, and the first uh, restless signs of restlessness appear. Some kept looking out of the window, others kept scribbling, drawing on the uh, desk. Even the first yawns appear. Most Brody got the message. She promised them they would watch a video on the subject for the rest of the period. And she sent off to make arrangements for the video. As soon as she was out of the classroom, everyone went on a frenzy. Paper plays started flying, students moving around places, getting to the occasional fight and occasional lacking. A few little stars, however, were above all this, and they got into a serious discussion on a serious topic a discussion on the origin of money. Man is nothing special, said Clover. In fact, my brother, who studies in the final grade, said that Ma evolved from there, so it can't be anything special about him. Ma, however, had a different view. My grandmother said God created everything, and he created and God created and allowed Ma to be in charge. That's an old lady's story. Don't believe it. My brother knows best. No one was a bit offended. Why should we believe your father and not my grandmother? My grandmother is old and wise. She knows best. No one worshipped his grandmother. He, he got offended by Clover's reference of her as an old lady. Besides, he was coming from a religious background and he didn't like this kind of theories about evolution. Toby was watching the whole thing with great hair, eyes wide open, ears lifted, trying not to miss a thing. He was getting very uncomfortable because he didn't want his friends to get into a fight. Moreover, he didn't want to have himself in the middle of this. My brother learned it at his biology class. His teacher taught him, and teachers know best. They're scientists, for goodness sake. Clover shouted. Scientists, you know that in science, a theory to be valid needs proof. Does this teacher have any proof? Do you, Clover, have any proof? No, I don't, but I'm sure scientists do. Toby thought he had to work quickly to pacify his friends. He remembered that his father told him that in cases of COVID, it was always wise to seek a compromise, to seek the middle ground. He had to think of something and present it to them as a win-win situation, present it as if both win something. In the meantime, the argument went on. I'm sure that apes who never throw, they cannot sing, 
they cannot pay the kind of payments that man can do. How do you know that they don't have their own versions of painting and singing and music? He said no. Hey guys, stop to be heard. Consider this. Why don't you accept that some men were created by God and others have evolved from the air? He said, I am happy, believing that with this ingenious interruption he would end the dispute. But his friends look at him closely. There were a few moments of silence. What an absurd idea! They shouted in unison. And they went off to the places as most Brody came to the castle. This was a lesson of a lifetime for me. Compromises and the middle ground do not necessarily solve problems, bring peace, or win friends. 